The difficult economic outlook has meant ITD making some tough decisions. We have made sensible adjustments to a couple of our targets, and delivering our strategy in an economic downturn means managing those things within our direct control, particularly our costs. But it also means working hard to sustain our $1 billion annual investment in content, which we will do. It is the lifeblood of our content-led turnaround plan, and self-help remains its foundation. ITV is not staring into the abyss. We are already turning the corner. We've increased our share of viewing and advertising. We've increased international exports. We're investing again in ITV productions, and our online assets are growing exponentially. I have to tell you, our content-led strategy is the answer. All the other helpful suggestions, such as selling off the content division or slashing the programming budget, would not work. In a fragmenting media market, it's the ownership of and investment in content that sets us apart. We all know what we've signed up for. We're all 100% committed to making ITV the UK's most successful commercial, free-to-air entertainment business. And if we do that, I hope you'll be really pleased. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, moving your um, uh, audience uh, a nudge upwards uh, in the last year doesn't really compensate for having lost 55% of your viewers since 1993. Um, increasing your revenues by 3% doesn't compensate for your operating profit dropping 56%. I think Michael uh, Gray was quite right a year ago to say, we're not looking for a regulatory fix. We are going to sort out our own problems. But to sort them out, they've got to deal with their underlying problem, which is far too narrow a revenue base in a, a piece of the economy which is on a strong downward trend, mostly self-induced. ITV should be owned by a larger, uh, possibly worldwide television business, which could, doesn't have to face the vagaries of the ups and downs of simply trying to find an audience and trying to work out how much an advertiser will pay for that audience. And uh, to be truthful, I agree with him. I think it should be owned by a larger company. The trouble is that it can't be owned by the company that I would prefer it to be owned by, which is News Corporation. And, uh, but if, the, if, uh, if things carry on the way they are, both in terms of its profitability and its terms of share, uh, then uh, there will be change and the regulator will not be needed. It will be commercial forces which decide the outcome of the future of ITV. The problem ITV has got is, if you stand back and look at it strategically, its main business is broadcasting. Broadcasting is a mature business. You may even describe it as a twilight business. ITV throws off, last year, in the last set of re re results, and correct me if I'm wrong, Rupert, I think this is about right, ITV delivered in a full year £300 million pounds or so of free cash. That's profit, take away and use it. This year, even with double-digit month, year-on-year monthly declines, it will still deliver £200 million, pounds, something like that. So this is, not a, this is not a company that's about to go broke. Right? It really isn't. But the problem in a public market is, where's the growth? Although nobody can take over ITV at the moment because of the Sky shareholding, ITV could take over Virgin Media, and overnight <coughs> it would have completely transformed its revenue streams. It would be two to one subscription versus advertising. And by the way, in a recession, subscription TV revenues hold up much better than advertising does. Of course. Yeah. And Virgin Media's historic losses would shelter 300 million pounds of profits from tax for a decade or more uh, coming out of ITV. And at long last, ITV would have an uh, a owned platform on which it could monetize its terrific uh, content asset.